everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the most beautiful motorhomes, perfect for full-time living, that's also an affordable gas option. This is the 2024 Integra Coach Vision XL, the model 34G. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Vision XL and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at the beautiful Vision XL 34G. Now we have a lot of these in stock with full body paint and without full body paint. And so when we go over the MSRP, we will give you both options. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi. How's it going? It's going good. Hey everybody, we have a new camera. Yes! So let us know below if you like it, if there's things we can change. Um, you know, it's always fun with a new camera. Anyways, congratulations to the bobblehead winner from last video. Yes! Link down below. Also, you guys, we will be giving away another bobblehead. Make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. Yes! Listen for the phrase that pays and make sure you hashtag that. Yes, Andrea, it's always exciting when we get a new camera, new technology to make better videos. With that said, Andrea, let's begin. Model is 34G Integra Vision XL. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 36 feet 6 inches. This motorhome is the Vision XL with the optional full body paint. What I think looks absolutely fantastic. We do have these nice Integra headlights. Love the way this looks. You got the Integra text right there so it looks fantastic. And then right here we have a huge windshield that does wrap around giving you the biggest windshield in the RV industry. Coming on down, take a look at that full body paint. Again, this is the option. Standard is no body paint. Uh, it does have, sit on the Ford F53 chassis, has 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then because this is a Vision XL, it doesn't have the Easy Drive. It's the Easy Drive Elite, which is computer balanced drive shaft and uh, it has Coney shocks, and it's the best riding motorhome in the industry. And then look at these tires, Dre, they're the Michelins, I love those. 235-80R22.5 with those shiny Alcoa rims. Right here we do have mirrors on both sides with cameras integrated in the mirrors. Right over here we do have some storage. Oh, and this one's locked. But check out this beautiful full body paint. And look at the new Lippard windows that they're installing in these. That's beautiful. Beautiful squared off windows. Looks absolutely fantastic. Because this is Integra, it does have the two year warranty, three year structural, a Cadillac converter protection on these Integras. They used to call that the cat strap, but people were getting that confused. They didn't understand what the cat strap meant. Matt, I'm just gonna comment above here. We have an awning above the door as well. Yes and a huge power awning with LED lights on the slide out. And then check out this storage, Andrea. Nice slam latch doors, okay? And I love the material inside. No carpet on the inside. Check that out. Tons and tons of exterior storage. Right here, we have a nice Insignia TV on the outside. Furion sound system, power and a radio. And then here we have even more storage. All right, coming on down, check this out. Here's our batteries, propane quick connect and your propane tank right there. And then Miss Jen, if you could, bing, please put all the specifications about this motorhome for everybody who's watching on television. And then right here, we got a little bit more storage. And then here, Andrea, a little bit more. Coming around the back, we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I have stopped climbing up on the roofs. It's because my weight's been a little heavy, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm working on, I have a new lifestyle change in about three, four weeks in, and hopefully 
by January 1, I'll be climbing back on the roofs. Just a safety thing, you know what I'm saying, Andrea? Yes. And I've been doing really well. I haven't had fried food in over four weeks. That's tough. So we're kicking butt and taking names. Uh, 5,000 pound hitch, Andrea. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Again, another squared off window in the rear. Beautiful full body paint. And Andrea, this is a fiberglass rear cap. So what I mean is, actually take a look at this. Take a look at that vision, okay? You see how the rear wall meets the side walls? Yes. Okay, that's a traditional Integra Vision. This is a Vision XL, so it actually caps over. So the rear wall actually ends here and it caps over. It's more expensive to do that, more high end, and less likely to leak that way. Right here we do have a water heater, painted, beautiful. Check this out, very nice. 50 amp power cord, tons of storage. Fuel fill. Here's your holding tanks. Very nice. Okay. Right over here. Here's our water system. All enclosed. Beautiful. Fresh tank fill. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Everything looks very nice. Little outdoor shower there. Here's the other side of that storage. Nice pass through. Yes. And then here and here. More storage. This is your own AM 5500 gas generator. All right, and this is just uh, another little storage. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks beautiful, and the insides look even better. Come on, let's go. Take a look. All right, everybody. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so... As you can see, it has double slides, and it's a teeny walkway. Let me see. I, I mean, I'm getting through. It's doable, but it is small. It does open up right here more in the kitchen area. Let's see if we can open the fridge. We can open the fridge. There's the bathroom and the master bedroom, which looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. Yeah. And then Andrea, while we get the slide outs out, let's give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Guys, I am in my brand new Delta travel trailer and RVmatches.com, a Brooklyn betting company, makes the absolute best mattresses in the RV industry. When I went on their website, all I did was click this style of mattress that I wanted, which I selected the Aurora because it's the best one, it's the thickest one, and it's the most comfortable. I selected that I have a 60 by 80 queen size bed, and then they shipped it to my house. Guys, RVmattress.com, their factory's based in Arizona. They ship it straight to my house. It was super easy to install in my travel trailer, and it comes with a 120 night sleep child guarantee. Guys, if you need a new mattress for your RV, use promo code MAP for 25% off. But not only that, they have pillows, sheets, and weighted blankets. And what I loved about using this blanket was that it kept me cozy, but also didn't suffocate me, so I was able to get the air conditioning on top of me. Guys, if you need a new mattress for your RV, go to rvmattress.com backslash mat. Let's continue the video. Andrea, this is newly designed for 2024. And I think Integra Coach has listened to your recommendations. <laughs> I don't see any balance. I don't see any either. We are going to take a look at this in just a moment. But first, we are actually going to start in the cockpit area. Andrea, this is super nice. 7.3 liter V8, okay? Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I got places to put my cell phone here. Cup holders, auto leveling, light controls. Very, very nice in the cockpit area. Right over here is where I can control the AC. I got cup holders here. And then Andrea, yes. how do you feel in the co-captain seat? It's actually very comfortable. Talk to me. Um, I'm glad these seats do swivel. There is a pedestal table that would go there. Yes. And that I have like a cup holder, USB, electrical outlet, a place for my cell phone. And then I have this nice sturdy workstation here. Wow. And then above, it looks like they gave us some cabinetry. Yes. Very, very, very nice. nice. I do want to point out my seat is electric. Is your seat electric? Uh, no. Okay. I had to do it with the handle. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, if you hold, grab that, just 
like right here. Perfect. If you look at mine, my seat right here is electric. Okay, you can see that they give you spare paint for the beautiful paint of the full body paint. And then right here is nothing. Okay, and then right here we got a little bit of storage. Okay. Very nice. Andre's having some technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. Here, hold the camera properly like the way I showed you. Yes. You got it? I got it. Burr, 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 burr. Nice job, Andrea. And then right here is a bunk over the cab. Just like this, you push the button, it comes all the way down. Okay. This is for your non-paying customers. You can see it is gonna have these slaps. Remember the angle? Yes. Remember, okay. And then it is the Euro Loft from Lippert. And guess what, Andrea? It holds 750 pounds. That is exactly right. And it has a ladder there as well. Perfect. And then above the doorway, we have storage here. And then notice how they went back to the brown. I do. Not the farmhouse. Right. Okay. Over here, we got nice storage above again no balances so andre i'm going to show you something cool with the camera you tap that lower corner andrea approved Bing. how are you going to approve it when there's know. no balances Bing. <laughs> all right turn it back around i approve that there is no balances oh yes. very nice very nice so i actually like that it's just simple you know daytime shades privacy shades and the windows open up by themselves just like that. Right over here, Andrea. Very nice theater seats right here. These do individually recline electronically when we have the inverter on. We got cup holders here. Oh, no storage there, that's surprising. Um, there is seat belts here. And this is a comfortable sofa. I actually feel like it's pushing me out a little bit. Maybe I definitely need to work in this sofa. Maybe we need to have, you know, um, me and Will sit on this and kind of break in those cushions first. And then directly across, we have more storage. Right over here we have storage, storage, and more storage right there. Another window, and then check this out, Andrea. With the push of a button, we have a televator. Now this is a solid surface, okay? We do have power and USB there, very nice. Good size TV. Oh yeah, great size TV. All the way up. And then right here we have a very comfortable sofa. Okay, and then this is a trifold sofa. This does actually come out to make a bed. Perfect. And then across from there is your dinette. Notice how there's a car seat tether right here. Very nice. The dinette does drop down to make a bed. You have cup holders in your dinette. Very comfortable and nice. Again, with the windows, they all have the daytime shades and privacy shades. And then, let's check to see if they continued it for 24. They sure did, Andrea. Storage underneath the dinette. And it is hidden hinge, or a piano hinge from Integra, which we absolutely love. Right over here, we have more storage. And then right over here, Bobblehead. The bobblehead, guys, we're giving away a bobblehead right now. The Matt Servi reused prime poop position bobblehead. Okay, here's how we're giving it out. Little mantle here with a fireplace. This fireplace does produce heat from electricity. Comment down below, hashtag bobblehead. Do you guys use your propane furnace or do you use uh, an electric fireplace to heat up your RV? Love to hear your feedback, and if you don't have an RV yet, what would you prefer and why? Would you prefer the furnace, or would you prefer the electric heater? Me, personally, if I can run it purely off electric, I would do that. But, love to hear your feedback. Comment, hashtag bobblehead. You only have 23 hours and 45 minutes. We will be announcing the winner of tonight's video on tomorrow's video, and we will have all the previous winners in our YouTube description below. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. All right. Andrea, MSRP on this motorhome here, stock number 293524, is $235,869. Andrea, MSRP, guess what? 
2024 in general RV is a freaking powerhouse. 32% off to a sale price of $159,995. Andrea. Wow, that is an incredible price. For a brand new 2024 with all the new features, they're insane. Not only that, Andrea. Oh, snap. Okay. Well, that's awkward. Because the one without full body paint is the same exact price of $159.9. So, I almost bet this one probably shouldn't be $159. You know what I almost bet, Andrea? The one without full body paint is $159.9. I bet you this one's supposed to be $169.9. Right? Ten grand more for the full body paint. But, if it's on our website... Go to GeneralRV.com. If it's on our website and it shows just like this, then guess what? You're good to go. The price, what, Andrea? Twelve. The price is the price. The price on the website's the accurate price. Right. Just because that's the price on this today doesn't mean it's what it's going to be forever. Exactly. So check out General RV's website. Also, if you're interested, go to GeneralRV.com slash Matt's We'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from Matt'sRVReviews.com or call. 844-969-4033. Reach out to us, Andrea, and we'll get you the best price in America. Andrea, now it's your time to okay. yell at me. Wait, wait, wait. It's your time to yell at me about the camera work. Okay. Talk uh, to me. I Did we mention the LED lights on top of the slides? Because I think they re look really good. And, okay, so I'm going to start in the kitchen, guys. We have a nice cabinet here, or two cabinets. Yes. And, Up, uh, and hang on, Andrea. Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hang on. No, no, no. You're good. I got a text. Hang on. Guys, <laughs> the mats are... Hang on. I can go like this now. Nice little selfie mode. From corporate, from General RV, breaking news, corporate news. The mats RV ever used tent has been found. Yay! Yay! <laughs> from the Hershey Thank Show. Thank goodness! Hang Don't on. tell me it finally got delivered. Amazing. Thank you so much. It'll be... We'll have it for Tampa. Fingers yes. Cross. Well, we, I will personally pick it up if I have to. Right. Talk to me, Andrea. Right. So sorry about that. So that is exciting news. Yes. Above here, we have a nice cabinet. We've got a shelf there. We do have a window in the kitchen, which is nice. Solid surface countertop. Yes. I think it's kind of weird to me. Do you think the counter's really high in here? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is really high. I felt like it was like that before. Um, I don't know. It's just me. Residential sink. I mean... It's definitely high. Yeah, definitely. And then we've got three, well, that's for sponges, two drawers, bigger drawer down here. Yes. LED lights underneath, very cute. We've got a place there for a trash can and some more storage here. Very nice. Above here we got more storage. Okay. And then, uh, I think this is a convection or is it just a microwave? Oh, this is just a microwave, guys. High point. I like the backsplash. We've got the three burner Furion propane cooktop. Very nice. And they gave you an oven, which is nice. Yes, very nice. And then there's another drawer down here. Okay. And we've got a nice residential GE refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. With water and ice maker, right? Yeah. Are you going to trick me again and say there's like a little nope. string of ice that comes out? Right, that was funny. All right, so we have the residential fridge here. Runs off your inverter. Good size. And, hmm, I don't see a pantry, but I do see this. Yes. This is your pantry, Andrea, kind of, not really. But prepped for a combo washer and dryer. Yes, yes. And then we've got two drawers. Good sized drawers, too. Bigger one down here. And right there, Matt, show everybody the pad there that controls your slides. Yes. Very nice. And then coming on into the bathroom, Andrea. Pocket door. Okay, cool. so that is a big step up. Yes. This is a huge 30 by 36 shower, Andrea. I got plenty of space, plenty of head height and everything. This is absolutely fantastic. Very, very nice. Right over here is our cabinetry. Andrea, there's a lot of cabinetry in there here. There is. Look at that medicine cabinet. Yeah, very nice. Nice sink over here. Actually, Storage underneath yeah. there. Very nice. And then, Andrea, look what's over here. Liquify. Our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, we haven't mentioned this. We have lavender. 
We have easy to drop in pods and our original orange fragrance in the liquid format. Guys, we got a lot of big news coming up for um, for Liquify coming up at our one year anniversary. Thank you guys so much for everyone. Yes, thank you everyone who has been so supportive and we appreciate everybody's feedback. Right there, Andrea. We do have storage underneath. Very good. And then here, porcelain toilet. I feel like I failed this in the past and I feel like they've done an excellent job making the bathroom bigger. I don't remember if I failed it in the past or passed it in the past. Neither here nor there. You know why, Andrea? Because this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. And then to wrap up the bedroom. Good entryway coming into the Goodness master gracious. bedroom. I didn't make the bed, Andrea. And we have a nice pocket door right there. Yes. Storage above the bed. Okay, so first, check out on those side tables. Notice those uh, little pogs of power. I yes. Very nice. And then let me just open this since I'm right here. There's a little cabinet down there with storage. And then above we have those cabinets, which I like the way those doors open. Yes. Very, very nice. Tons of storage and it all connects through. Nice headboard, reading lights right there, which is fantastic. King size bed, right? Of course. Okay. And let's see if there is storage. Nice. Okay, oh my goodness. Yes, there is storage. Now there is no struts and it is gonna be a pain in the butt to hold it up, but it's one of those things, something's better than nothing. Right. Okay, more wardrobe space. Got the wardrobe, some drawers. Yes. Insignia TV, a little bit of storage behind there. Very nice. Window, the other wardrobe. And then we've got those three huge drawers right there. Yes. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, let's do three things we like about it first. First? Well, okay. Andrea. Wait, wait, no. You know. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. You're good. Andrea, you know I love my integrus. I always love to end on a positive note, but you want to start with the likes? Yes. Okay, you go first. Okay, so what I like about this motorhome, and it's going to seem very silly. Talk to me. I love the windows, and I love the daytime and nighttime shades with no valances. Yes, yes. It's the first valance seal of approval that had no valances. <laughs> and you know what? To Andrea's point, sometimes nothing is better than something. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That is like number one. Andrea, like number two for me, it's going to be the opposing slide outs. I think this is big. I think this is spacious. I love having theater seats. I love having a sofa. I just think it's so open and airy here. I think it's fantastic. That's number two. And then Andrea, number three for me is going to be the outside stuff. Full body paint, storage underneath, 22.5 inch tires on Koa rims, that wet bay that's all enclosed. I think the way they build this, dollar for dollar, it's the best RV in the industry or one of them. Top, top five, possibly top three. And Andrea, personally, I'd hop on it right now and get the one with full body paint before the prices change. You know why, Andrea? The prices change every day. Do. The price on this could go down. It could, or it could go up. I think it'd go up a lot faster than that. Andrea, that is three things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. My go. dislike yes. is this. Talk to me. I, I know there. Were, it, I have said something before in the past about the counters being really high. And you know, it might be okay for like some people that are really tall, but to me it's just a little bit strange. It is very you know, strange. It is strange. I noticed it before in the Vision XL. So. That is dislike number yes. one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Dislike number Two is the bathroom. To be, oh, is it the bathroom? Yeah, the shower. Step up. Yes. yes. That step up is humongous to me. Um, you know, it's just, you know, be aware that it's there. You just got to take a little bit more caution going in and out. Here's what I will say it is totally worth it, especially yes. for having a 30 by 36 shower. But again, to have that big step up, especially going into a shower, I must agree. That's number two. Oh, snap. And Andrea, yes. you're giving us dislike one, two, and three. So what's this like number three? Um, you mentioned it earlier. Oh my gosh, I don't uh, remember. The pantry. Oh yeah, there is no pantry. I mean, this could kind of be pantry space, but oh, not yeah. really. But yeah. again, for this motor it home. Be, but they need to do a better job with the shower. 
shelving. It's such a great kitchen. Yes. I love the fridge. I love the washer dryer. But it would be nice to have a dedicated pantry space somewhere in here. I agree. Andrea. Yes. That's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with us in this video. I know it's a little hard with me trying to explain it to Andrea. Just both of us learning the camera movements. If you guys notice a big difference and you love this camera over the GoPro, drop a comment down below. Also, hashtag bobblehead on the phrase that pays, and we will be announcing the winner of the bobblehead in the YouTube description below of tomorrow's video. And we have all previous win winners in the description below. If you're interested in buying this Integra Coach, please act fast to get that price. Go to generalrv.com slash matscash. If you're watching this video in the future, check General RV for updated pricing. Again, the price can always fluctuate, especially since the full body paint one's the same price as the non-full body paint one. So I think there's a discrepancy there. So act fast. And if you're watching this video and the full body paint one is now more expensive than what it was the day that we filmed this, you can't go up to the sales managers and said, Matt said, because again, this is day by day. The RV industry is like the stock market, y'all, day by day. So stop trying to get me in trouble and throwing me under the bus. Andrea, <laughs> what say you? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Tiger does read the comments. They do watch the videos, you guys. So please leave your feedback. Don't forget to uh, comment down below. Let us know how the camera is. We really need to know what you guys think. Uh, we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.